I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. May you please remain standing for a moment of silence. You now be, be seated. Good morning, Donna North High School. Today is Thursday, October 6th, 2016. Today is Football Thursday, and it's going to be a great day on our campus. Today we have a special guest with us. We have our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Fernando Castillo, and he will be discussing a couple of items with you. So good morning, Mr. Castillo, and welcome to our campus. Good morning, Ms. Vega, and certainly uh, a pleasure being here at Donna North uh, High School uh, on this Thursday morning. And yes, good luck to the Chiefs as you take on the uh, Browns Reporter Cowboys, and I know you will be victorious. So. Uh, good luck to you and as well as to the band and to the uh, spirits, everyone that's part of that. Uh, what I wanted to take a, a few moments and, and visit with you, the student body, is the importance of coming to school on a daily basis. And, and yes, you're probably thinking, yeah, we hear that all the time. Here, here's the bottom line. This year, your instructional days total 174. I don't know whether your teachers have been able to explain to you the rationale uh, with regard to House Bill 2610 and how now we're doing instructional days with minutes as opposed to days. So just for starting, it used to be 180 days. Now we're at 174. So we're six days less than what you had before. Doing the math, that just uh, equates to six days of instruction that you're not gonna have with you. But more importantly, the bottom line is this. Instruction is very important on a day-to-day -day basis, especially those of you students that have uh, only the uh, AB block, which is the maroon or the black, and that means that you're only gonna see your, your classes either Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or TTs, okay? But at the end of the day, there's a reason why we want you to be there. And I know we all have extenuating circumstances at time, but uh, what you really need to understand is what is the main objective we want from you? We meaning all educators and all parents. We want you to graduate from high school. Bottom line, graduate from high school and also enroll in a one year, two year, or four year college of your choice and more importantly select a career something that you like to do something that you're going to do the rest of your life because it is very doable and and this is one thing that i will never stop telling students and staff and parents the american dream is still alive and it, it can be alive and will continue to be alive via education what does that mean is it uh, contrary to what you hear in the news you're reading the paper what have you uh, the decision is going to be up to you. Todo se puede, queriendo. And it doesn't matter whether your daddy's a doctor or not. It doesn't matter whether your daddy's employed or your mom's employed or not. It doesn't matter what type of vehicle you drive. It doesn't matter what type of house you live in. That is something that your parents is the best they can do for you. What are you going to do for you? That's when the story comes in. What are you going to do for yourself? ¿Qué vas a hacer para tú mismo? And if you want to be a doctor, great. If you want to be a mechanic, get your license. If you want to be a Cosmo, get your license. If you want to be a teacher, get your degree. So that's, that's the part that has to be very clear to you. And attendance is very important because every day you come in, you're going to get the material that the teacher is going to cover. Every day that you do not, when you're absent, who is going to give you that information? You remember, your class is 90 minutes in length. And if you're absent, the teacher is not going to cover the entire 90 minute lesson with you again. More than likely, they're going to give you some handouts and say, look, this is what you missed. I'll go ahead and cover it. Probably five minutes max that they may tell you. Or they may ask you to come in before school or after school, and they'll give you a little quick refresher. But it's not the same. The best way I can tell you, for those of you that are movie fanatics, if you don't go see a movie and a friend tells you about a movie, and the movie is two hours in length, you think that friend is going to tell you what that movie was about detail by detail for the entire duration of the movie, which is two hours? Probably not. Same thing when you miss class. They're going to tell you just some of the major things. So it's always best. You want to enjoy the entire movie? Great. You want to enjoy the entire class? Great. If you say, well, I don't, I don't enjoy it. Well, then it's not about enjoying. It's about going in there and, and learning something. 
And obviously, once you get to that, then obviously you're going to enjoy it because, again, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we are in 2016, and it is still possible for you to go anywhere, even more so now than ever, in terms of universities or colleges. So attendance is critical. Take care of business. If you are the very first one that's going to graduate in your family from high school and go on to college, great. If your parents have college degrees, then it's up to you to continue the tradition in terms of having your generation not only being a high school graduate, but also college graduate. So either, either way, students, it's all up to you. And like I, can't, I cannot emphasize enough, todo se puede, queriendo. And the other thing is three things that, that I ask of you. Come to school every single day. Secondly, stay out of trouble. That means no discipline issues. If you do those things, more than likely, your academic is going to be on a positive note. It's three basic things. Come to school every day. Stay out of trouble, which means listen to the to obey the all rules and policies. That's what you do in real life. You have to obey the law. If you don't obey the law, there's consequences. Same here in school. If you don't obey the, dis the discipline policies for the district, for the campus, you're going to have consequences. But stay away from those two, and I can assure you the third one, academics, is going to be positive. It's going to happen. It's just a trend. So, uh, again, I wish you the best, and, and the first six weeks is over. You're going to be shooting now for October 31st, which is, again, going to be another off day for you because the teachers will be planning on that Monday. And so before you know it, we'll be in Christmas break. So all I can tell you is, seniors, you're, you can see the light already at the end of the tunnel. And keep in mind, this year for the first time, you as a graduating seniors will be graduating from the, in the McAllen Convention Center, no longer in the stadium so that we don't have to have uh, that inclement weather or take a risk. You will be doing that. Both high schools will be doing that, in fact. And so these are things that you need to be looking forward to. Freshmen, you're beginning right now. And so keep that in mind because three years from now, four years from now, actually, you will be in the same uh, situation that your uh, older peers are at, and that's seniors. So again, everything's possible. Just be certain that you come on a daily basis, okay? Ms. Vega, I wish you the best for the rest of the year. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Students, remember to be humble, work hard, and be kind. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Good morning, Donna North. Today is October 6th of 2016. I'm Marco Leon. And I'm Martin Salcedo. And it feels great to be back here from where it all started doing the morning announcements. As we just flew in yes. last night from CNN headquarters. Yes, sir. Now we know we met a lot of good people, some good CNN correspondents, yes. which helped us how to execute these prompts. Okay. Yes, and it feels yes. great to be back here in Donna, Texas. Enough about us. Let's get a yes. little more. And today's riddle is how many tickles does it take to tickle an octopus? We tickle. tickle. Marco? Okay, back to the announcements. Marco? Yes, from the Gear Up office. We will be providing TSI Saturday tutorials for the seniors needing to take the TSI assessment. Stop by the Gear Up office to sign up and secure a slot for Saturday tutorials. TSI tutorials will be on October 8th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. for those students that will be taking the TSI test on October 15th. Also, girls will be going to Latina Day on Wednesday. <laughs> Stop by the office to sign up and pick up a permission slip if you're interested in attending. Attention all HOSA members. Y'all will be having a meeting this Friday at 7.45 a.m. in CTE 106. Donna will be having its first field of faith and everyone is invited. It will be held at the Benny La Prod Stadium starting at 7. To be an amazing night. It will be an amazing night. If, uh, for more information, please contact Ms. Hernandez. Let me read Yes. And it's time for our fall shows to commence rehearsal. Open to all. Please come by after school Thursday, October 6th, which is today. If you have any burning desires to play on stage and learn about stagecraft, this is your opportunity. Bring a monologue, which is preferably two minutes or less, uh, sing a song, dance, or even tell jokes. It's all good. Definitely bring a monologue to be on the safe side. Callbacks for this audition will be October 7th in the Black Box Theater after school. Thank you. Remember, October is National Domestic Awareness Month. Some red flags and warning signs of an abuser include, but are not limited to, extreme jealousy possessiveness, embarrassing or humiliating the victim, a bad temper, 
unpredictable, gets mad for no reason, verbal abuse, name calling, cursing, making threats, extremely controlling behavior, outdated beliefs about roles of women and men in relationships, forced sex, blaming the victim for anything bad that happens, accusations of the victim, flirting with others, or cheating, control of what the victim wears and how they act around others, harassment of the victim at work or at school. Remember, you have the right to be in a happy and healthy relationship. For anonymous, confidential hope, help 24-7, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. And for today's lunch, it looks like we're going to be having spaghetti with meatballs and a garlic breadstick. Or your second option, which is chicken breasts with a whole grain dinner roll. And as our sides, lettuce and tomato salad, golden corn, steamed carrots, assorted fruit, and your choice of milk. Thank you. All seniors, the deadline for college applications is quickly approaching. Remember to submit all your applications before December 1st. Are you in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade? Are you interested in taking college classes next year? You may now sign to take the TSI exam. Our first testing date will be October 15th. Go by the GO Center for more information. Do you have the test taking skills for exams like the ACT or the SAT? Sign up for the ACT boot camp or learn how you can improve these skills. The camp will be on Thursday, October 13th and will be $29 to attend. Yes. And let's give a shout out to the Chiefs as they go visit Brownsville this coming Thursday as we play Brownsville Porter starting at 7.30 p.m. Today, today. And if you want to go attempt the game, go see Peggy to buy your student tickets, which is only $3. And for more information, go see Peggy in the athletic office. And we want to reach them the best. We want to yes. reach them the best. Especially the band. We're going to be performing half time. And that's also... A shout out to the golf team as they have their first tournament this Friday and Saturday for the varsity tournament and also JV on Monday. Go golf. Yes. And ever had a dream to sing your own songs? Ooh. Then the Donna Independent School District presents The Talent. Do you have it? Do you have what it takes? Donna ISD Fine Arts Department are looking to coach and produce four singers and their music. Singers will need to prepare two songs in any genre, but they must be clean versions, no, no bad words. No curse words now. Audition dates are October 5th and 6th, which was yesterday and today, at the DNHS Auditorium from 4.30 to 6.30. Look for the maroon colored flyers for any other information. They are posted around the whole campus, so make sure to be there. Yes. And for today's riddle, if you couldn't figure out the answer... Wait, Martin, please repeat, repeat the riddle. Oh, yes. How many tickles does it take to tickle an octopus? Now, the answer is 10 tickles. Tickle. <laughs> 10 tickles. <laughs> and as always, go Chiefs!